What is up guys, welcome to another travel vlog, this time from Rotenburg of der Tauber. We are in Bavaria, Germany and we are here for one beautiful day. The town is supposed to be this fairy tale like uh, town and we are very excited to see everything uh, as much as possible. I can show you all the stuff what you can do here, the historical places and hopefully some good local food. If you guys are also new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe hit a thumbs up and let's just do that. We started off by the Rodergate Outer Barbican where is also a parking lot and we also uh, parked there for free in the street nearby and we headed into the city. As you can see here is the Roder gate which is actually only gate with the tower you can go on and see the beautiful views on the amazing city all around and we are going to do that. You can also find around the city these tables with the text so you can learn a little bit about the history, about the town and there are also maps. Here you can see the city walls, it's amazing. You can walk around the city walls. I never seen that before. You can uh, walk really around the whole city, which yeah, it's pretty a big actually i thought it's much smaller than it is and let's go on the top of the tower we paid three euros each to get up there and they say the roger tower is the most impressive uh, with its perfect uh, point that offers stunning views of the town every night one of the city watchmen at the roger tower would send a signal to the city center to let everyone know that everything was fine or that there was danger on the way you should count to climb about 100 stairs not gonna lie i am always a little nauseous when i'm climbing somewhere but it was definitely worth it look at this amazing view Today a walk around the giant stone walls allows you to keep up with the 70 watchtowers, of which 42 still stand. We are walking along the city walls right now, which is pretty cool and it goes really around the whole city, the whole town. The entire city wall tour is 4 kilometers long and began to shape in the 10th century with the fortresses and walls of Rothenburg. After hundreds of years it has the appearance it has today. Walking along the city wall you can enjoy different views of the old town from different angles. Along the way there are also many ways you can escape and return to the old town. Along the wall you can also see engravings of various names of different places, sponsors and companies who founded the renovation of the walls with more than 2000 euros. Walking along the streets we are getting to the Max Tower, which is one of the earliest ancient city walls in the Rothenburg Tower, but it's not easy to take pictures because it's a road for cars. So everyone be careful, the cars are passing through the whole city, it was a little bit annoying. It was also a lunchtime, so we decided to grab some things in a bakery, which is a thing in Germany, and by the tower was a nice spot actually to relax a little bit and eat. Here you can see the snowballs famous in Rothenburg which I will also show you later. We will get some. And here we got some focaccia which is actually Italian and some water and yeah we will go and explore more. Here is the Max Tower from the other side. All these little streets are leading to the market square where we are heading next. 
They say that the market square is a really center of everything in Rothenburg. You can find there lots of beautiful houses, cafes, restaurants and definitely enjoy the lively atmosphere. You can also see there many historical buildings like White Clock Tower, City Hall or Marian Pharmacy. The town hall has gothic part from 1240 and part Renaissance from 1572. You can climb to the top of the 60 meter which is 200 feet tower and it provides a view that sweeps across the town and far into the Tauber Valley. There is also lots of gift shops, uh, shops with the toys which I will show you later. It is gigantic. Here you can see this amazing uh, buildings of Marian Pharmacy. By the town hall is also a museum with a historical vault with a state dungeon and a tortured cellar. Our next stop is St. James Church. This is Lutheran Church, which serves as a church on the pilgrimage road. It has two towers with a height of 55 meters and 57 meters. It is gigantic. The church was built between 1311 and 1484. You can go inside a church but just on the very beginning because if you wanna go really inside you have to pay I think about 3 euros 50 cent and I never seen that in German churches. I was a little bit surprised about that. Of course in other churches you can donate uh, money but yeah there is no entry like this. Then we saw this teddy bear shop and of course we had to go look inside. I loved this huge teddy bear, how cute. Teddyland is the German's largest teddy bear shop with a great variety of items. Cuddly teddy bears in a Toulouse and Mohair can be found here. After that we headed to the castle and on the way we saw another church. This is the Franciscan Friary of Rothenburg of der Tauber. Nowadays the former Franciscan church is an evangelical Lutheran parish church. The friary dedicated to the Virgin Mary was founded in 1281 but was not consecrated until 1309. It was wound up in 1548 in the wake of the Reformation. The streets are taking us to the castle garden right now. The castle garden is the site where the royal family of Hohenstaufen established its imperial castle in 1142. King Konrad III reigned over his kingdom from here but was the only ruler who actually used Rothenburg castle. As his sons died relatively early, the castle quickly lost its importance, but not before it had former the seat for the germination of the town. The town is so beautiful guys, really this fairy tale like uh, town. We are enjoying the views all around and it's so many beautiful streets all around. An earthquake destroyed the castle complex in 1356 and the stones of the ruins, a valuable community at the time, were used to build the city walls. Only the chapel of St. Blaise was renovated after the quake. However, this building was not originally a chapel, but rather the upper ducal house, probably the convent building where the king received his guests. The building was dedicated as a chapel after the renovation and now serves as a memorial to the fallen of the two two world wars. The chapel of St. Blaise is also the site of the memorial to the program of 1298, the original 
one of which is in the Imperial Town Museum. We absolutely love it here. We are here, or I'm here for the first time. And I think we are coming back. I thought actually this is pretty small town, but you can do a lot here. I think for the whole weekend uh, would be perfect to stay here in some nice cute hotel and explore the city and you can actually walk all around the city walls which I'm not sure if we can uh, make today. You can also walk then around the whole town in the forest so I think that would be also pretty cool to walk through the nature and a little bit around the rivers. Here you can see the castle gate we are going through right now and we are heading to some cafe. Uh, this is some nice hotel right by the gate and uh, right there is also some other hotel with this uh, nice little garden. We grab some coffee, some beer, something to drink and uh, relax a little bit and we can go explore more right now. Right there you can see Klingentor Bastai Barbican, which is the northwestern getaway. This was a very cool, very nice uh, place to see, to take some pictures, make some videos. Uh, very nice historical place. I'm not sure actually what's inside. It's, it looks also uh, like a church. We didn't get to go there. We went on the city walls also here as you can see and we had a very nice view on the Saint Jacob's Church. The thing is that in Rothenburg you have in every street, every corner something to explore. So at first I actually thought we can also make in one day the city walls. We can walk all around but that would be actually exhausting and we came I think around 11 a.m. something like that in the city so I think if you want to take some nice relaxing trip also with lots of walks it's best to visit Rothenburg at least for two days so you can get uh, fully the atmosphere and you are not running all around like crazy. It is time to try some snowballs or Schneeballen in German. This is really a speciality of Rothenburg and I also saw these balls all around on the all videos. I want to give you honest review because I think this is actually nothing special. Special. It looked better as it tasted. This is really just fried uh, hard pastry. You cannot even eat it. You can get some chocolate flavor, some sugar, you know, all around or cinnamon flavor or, you know, maybe even more. Maybe you can, you know, try one and see yourself. We also saw by St. Jacob's Church this uh, city model. Our next stop is this Christmas shop, which I have never ever thought it existed. This is a highly visited store. Here you can really soak up the glitz and glamour of Christmas, no matter which season it is. From ornaments to the nutcrackers, from the pyramid to well-crafted woodwork, no matter what you have in mind, this store will make a perfect one-stop shop to spruce up your house into a Pinterest-ready paradise for Christmas. This Christmas village was just breathtaking. We were so surprised that in this small-looking house you can find everything here what you can see. Thank you. 
I would really wish to visit Rothenburg once more for Christmas because I bet its atmosphere must be also amazing. We are heading to Plonline Square and we are seeing more stops, more shops on the road. I would really recommend to visit Europe's largest museum on legal rights, Rothenburg's Medieval Crime and Justice Museum. Uh, for us it was unfortunately already late, so the museum was closed, but we got to see just a little bit uh, here yet. By the museum is also a pretty modern Catholic church Saint Johannes. And finally we are getting to the famous Plone Line. It is a small square located at the entrance of the Spital Quarter. The biggest hook here is a large titled wooden residential building leaning its back against two big watchtowers, one of which is nestled off the far back left while the other one is hidden down the right turn. On top of that all the little bakeries surrounded by the cute cafes and ice cream shops will make the walk a lot more enjoyable. If you wanna find a place to rest your tired legs there is also a beer garden which I can tell you about. The beer garden you can find right after the Siebersturm and the name is Landwehrbräu am Turm. I'm not sure if I say it correct but I can leave it in the description. I will leave there everything so you can find it. The Spital Quarter is also very nice for walks and we are heading to the last church for the day and this is the Spital Church. This is the Evangelisch Lutheran Church. Our dinner we decided to eat in hell or in German Zurhol, which is actually a very old and famous restaurant. It is actually the oldest house in Rothenburg. It says on the Google reviews you need a reservation. We called one hour before we went there actually and we were lucky. There were also some people without reservation which were lucky. I got some spare ribs and I must say they weren't that good. We had also a schäufele which is typical Frank onion and some oven potato with the shrimps. Uh, the stuff was very friendly and we really enjoyed the atmosphere there. I would really recommend to visit this place. This was amazing day. Uh, we did lots of different stuff uh, we didn't even expect to see here. I didn't expect the town to be actually so big. We could walk here another two days, I think, and we could explore uh, really lots of restaurants here and even around the nature. So uh, I think we are coming definitely back and I think this is my favorite town in Bavaria so far. I know I said it in the last video in Bamberg, but Rothenburg has really its atmosphere. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, just comment below. I will try to answer that. And yeah, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. That really helps my channel grow faster and yeah, motivate me to create more content for you. I will see you next time. Bye bye.